place from the keto diet here and for those people who are following me this is the end of my fourth week on the keto I've been doing it for a month and I've got to say I'm happy with the results of what's happening after being on the keto diet for a month I've been through the keto flu I've been through not feeling very well lethargic but on my fourth week now at the end of my fourth week the results speak for themselves now I'm going to put some pictures up here this is where I was when I was 118 kilograms when I was 118 kilograms I went on the keto diet and I went all the way down to 104 kilograms then I came off it because we had a few holidays and it's a little bit more difficult to keep the keto diet when you're living elsewhere in your holidays and you, you feel as if you want to drink so I put two kilos on over a six month period so that's not too much to put on back up to 106 from 104 from 118 so then I got to feeling okay I need to come down even further at the time when I was 118 my goal was getting down to 100 kilos uh, but sadly I never ever got to that I was quite happy with the weight loss that I got to when I got to 104 I've never been that weight for I can't remember how many years but I was happy with my body size even at 104 but then after a couple of months 106 and I'm thinking okay back onto the keto so this is where I started my keto program because talking to a few people on my YouTube channel with regard to losing weight and I suggested I was on the keto and somebody suggested do a do a weight loss program on my channel because there's plenty of overweight expats living in Thailand and I've got to say although I don't have many many views I have many many emails asking for recipes and asking for advice of what to do and how you go about it because people can see the result and that's the whole idea of my videos being put onto here I'm not ashamed of my body I'm fat as are 70% of the world's population at the minute overweight so by doing my videos people can see that I'm on the keto diet and they can see the actual results I'm not one of these skinny people who do keto diets and say yeah lose all of this weight and you're skinny in the first place so after a month I've lost a lot of weight I'll go through how much weight I've lost a little bit later on in the video but as I said this is the picture when I was 118 kilos and now I've lost a lot of weight and the results speak for themselves I hope you agree with me with that and um, the keto diet isn't a difficult diet to, to stick to following my third week on the keto diet I decided to go into eating one meal a day and intermittent fasting again it's only been just over a kilo a week I've been losing so eating one meal a day and the intermittent fasting for me it isn't difficult um, I don't know what other people feel about it but I find this diet probably one of the easiest diets I've ever been on I've done the Weight Watchers I've done the slim slim fast meal I've eaten the protein powders and I've sort of done everything because I've always been a chunky build all of my life and I'm going to put some pictures of the food that I've been eating for the past week it's nutritious it's healthy it's balanced and it's it's nice healthy food and healthy fats and it works I've got to say it works eating healthy foods I take vitamins every day like I said because intermittent fasting my last meal is at six o'clock in the evening and my first meal is at 12 o'clock one o'clock in the afternoon the following day I'm so strict with regard to not wanting the insulin spike to start on the morning I don't even have my morning cup of coffee because I use sweetener and having any sweetener can even actually start the insulin spike so I'd, I forego that until one o'clock I don't have regular milk now I have my coffee with unsweetened almond milk which is it takes a little bit to get new to but because I've been doing it for a long time now it it's more palatable but to make it even more palatable put a bit of heavy whipping cream in it and then you've got a creamy coffee which is lovely um, so I only have two of them a day um, but the, the heavy whipping cream in your coffee also helps with them healthy fats so the, it's the fats that make you full because your body's not relying on carbohydrates it looks in the freezer where the fat stored and it takes the fat and that's what's eating the fat away is because there's no carbohydrates and your body does adapt to eating the fat and that's why you don't feel hungry because like for me when I was 118 kilos and then down to 106 kilos the freezer's always full 
it's got plenty of food in there in the basis of fats so there's always plenty for my body to eat and that's why you don't feel hungry on the keto diet because your body becomes fat adaptive so how much weight have I lost again as this is the end of my fourth week and I've got to say looking at this scales here I am 99.8 kilos that's just over one kilo in a week so all together from my starting weight of this 106.6 I'm down to 98.8 kilos so my goal weight was to 95 kilos but I think I'll actually go a little bit further and go down to 90 kilos as far as motivation is concerned I hope I motivate some people who are a little bit overweight and and want to lose some weight that it can be done it's not that difficult to do I would say with any diet you've got to be careful as what you're doing I'd have a word with your doctors if you're going to go into a keto diet because it is such a drastic change from your normal everyday living and consult a dietitian if you want I'm no medical expert I'm no nutrition expert I'm just a normal guy who's on the keto diet and it works for me it might not work for everybody but for those people who are following me watch my other videos with regard to my weight loss program I've done four videos for four weekly losses up to now so I'm a month into my diet and I've lost six key over six kilos and I'm feeling well and I'm f my clothes fit better and I'm still on my journey downwards to 95 kilo and maybe it's below than that so if you've got any comments any questions please leave your comments and questions in the link below if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you don't like it give it a thumbs down I'll leave my email address at the bottom of the video here so if anybody's got any questions I'm more than happy to help with any answers that I can give or I can't give um, so from Liz from fat to slim until the next video bye for now